Yeah. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Kent and Dave Show. My name's Kent Crawford. With me today is Dave Fisher. We are located here in Kenwick, Washington. And that's Chewy, the dog. Chewy's got something to say. Chewy's got something to say, and, and Chewy's ferocious and protects us. Today's discussion, we're going to be talking about Neil Young, Crazy Horse. Probably my all-time favorite band. And one of the formulas in, in my own music that I've always tried to kind of recreate in my own way and several other And um, I'll go ahead and hand you this, and we'll get into the discussion here. Well, it's a, you know, it's important to be in tune, but I think that intro get, that might work. It, it might be okay. We're here, and here we are, and here we are. Beautiful. And thank you for that, with your son. Sounded awesome. How are you doing today, Dave? Dave, you, oh, I mean, Kent. Yes. Because I'm Dave. I said that. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm doing, you know, I'm well. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Kennewick, Washington. Woke and up uh, on the right side of the dirt. Yeah, yeah, the right side of the dirt, not the uh, dark side of the, the, uh, the other mm. side or whatever that could be. But... Um, Anyway, we're going to have a discussion today, and, and just, you know, as fans, just, just as general fans, we're not experts, and uh, we, we take subjects of uh, groups that we grew up with during the 60s and 1970s, and also the, from the influences of the 1950s, and just, you know, in the world of music, but today's discussion, is that, uh, this is our first time, and um, we were using Spotify trying to do uh, podcasts, but that wasn't working out well, so now, this way you can see us, you can hear us. And Welcome. we can share, and um, and we thank you for viewing. Yeah. And uh, so, what do you? What we're, we're in the discussion of Neil Young and Crazy Horse, and that this is a, a huge, endless discussion. I mean, we could be here for three hours, right? And there's there'll be several things that we might miss, um, and but but um, and, but you know, perfect, and. Um, but, uh, Anytime. Just, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let's let's start from the beginning. Uh, you know, of course, we know Neil Young came from the uh, a band called the Minor Birds, and he, that was with uh, Rick James. And this is in the uh, I'd say around nineteen sixty-two or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, in in in, uh, in in Canada, right? By Win the way, that'd this be, is Canada. That'd be Winnipeg. Right. You know, you know, Neil Winnipeg. had a friend. Uh, Neil had a friend uh, named uh, Don McLean. And we know Don McLean, the uh, American Pie, is like the I'm American. I'm pretty sure he's my friend too. <laughs> I've never met him. Well, but anyway, but, but, but Neil said that uh, he had a a Dodge van, and uh, he took the, uh, you know, like my Econoline. I got an old Econoline van, and we'll get into that discussion here soon too. Uh, but but he, he took the, instead of the word Dodge in front of the van, he made it Dog, and I thought that was kind of cool. Back in those days, uh, Neil Young had a hearse, and he got in the uh, the hearse with uh, a bassist, a brilliant uh, musician named uh, Bruce Palmer, and they drove down to um, to uh, the Sunset Strip uh, from in, in Steve Stills. It's it's just amazing how their story, how they get to L.A. I love that. Well, they they actually the uh, if I'm not mistaken, I saw an interview where Neil is talking about uh, passing by David Crosby. And they like they passed each other. He's in the hearse. That's he Steve. had just pulled into town. It's, it's Stephen Stills. Oh, Stephen Stills. Stephen, is actually who Steve, it was. Stephen right? Stills and Richie Foray were were, were uh, getting ready to leave. They were going to go. Isn't that? They were going to bolt. So it's like you know, Buffalo Springfield probably happened on kind of like on accident, but it happened. You don't have to believe and, in God. It's uh, not. It, it's really not that important, but. Uh, magic was made that day. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. And of course, the, the other members of Buffalo Springfield. I don't want to uh, not include uh, the the big do, Dewey Martin, yes. and uh, Richie Richie Fure, and uh, yeah. and of course, uh, you know, just uh, he, Stephen Stills, uh, Neil, and just uh, you know, um, they were the uh, the West Coast, the American Beatles, you know, and, and then uh, to a lot of people, to a lot of people, that's true, and. Yeah. Uh, so there, it's like discussing, um, you know, going going just through a little bit of history here. Got the Minor Birds, got the Buffalo Springfield, 
Neil Young left the Buffalo Springfield. They had their last show on uh, May 5th. My 